हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग चैनल एंड माय नेम इज़ चिराग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ वी कैन इंटीग्रेट जंकिंस विद सेलिनियम वेब ड्राइवर इन सिंपल मींस हाउ वी कैन रन आर सेलिनियम वेब ड्राइवर टेस्ट स्क्रिप्ट्स थ्रू जंकिंस व्हेन आई क्लिक ऑन बिल्ड बटन ऑन जंकिंस माई ऑटोमेटिकली सेलिनियम वेब ड्राइवर स्क्रिप्ट विल स्टार्ट एग्जीक्यूश एग्जीक्यूट सो दिस पॉइंट वी विल discuss in this video and to start with this video i am just going to show you that my selin jenkins server already have been started and i run by java hyphen jar jenkins dot war on my window machine right and for this video i created a small framework basically this is all a uh, page object model in this page object model what i do i created a base class where i am just initialize my chrome driver and according to that i created a object i created a page object model so that i created a object and if i click on object so you can see different object i have identified in this object right for that i created a page and in this page i created a object for home page object object means where i have to put all the this uh, web elements right and in this i just create a click on sign in button or if i click on login page in login page i have to enter enter username so i write this enter username method if i write enter password then i created a method to write the enter enter password and all this i call on login test so basically i run two login tests on jenkins by this my test script will start execute right so the basically pin object model is we identify or we give all the object according to that page if we are working on dashboard page so we will create a one object for dashboard page if we are uh, working on home page we will create a object of home page so all these things we will discuss in page object model and i will create a separate playlist uh, for the page object model in this video i just wanted to show you what is the code which i am going to run on jenkins right and and before that i need to show you one more thing so guys i really recommend it before watching this video please go and watch selenium web driver series selenium 3 this is a mandatory selenium 3 with test ng framework and maven because in while running the code on jenkins i am using test ng and maven so you should know the idea of the what is a test ng and what is a maven right so let me show you the code so basically this is all my page object model what i did here i just created a test ng dot xml and run all the class file which is present com automation dot test scripts means login test right and for maven what i am doing i just calling this test ng dot xml file if you go and watch this so i calling here right so guys all these things i have discussed on maven right click let me show you how to run selenium apm maybe project through pom so tutorial fifth i discussed all this point so you can go and watch if you do not have any idea right so let me go and run through first by maven after that we will run through jenkins and we will create a new job for jenkins so this is my pom file where i put all the code i open command prompt and mvn test and 
click on enter currently I am running this manually through Maven right to show you what I am going to run through Jenkins and I click on enter once I click on enter the build you can see the my code is start building and my chrome browser will launch soon so you can see the chrome browser has been launched and what I am doing in this test script I am doing in this test script I just click on sign in button after that enter username and password only so you can see the wordpress.com has been launched and it is loading as it takes some time to load completely so it will loads after that it will click on login button and will press uh, will enter username and password so you can see it clicked on login link and now it my script will enter username and password so this will to my script you can see that username and password has been successfully filled by script right so these all the things we are going to do on Jenkins or through Jenkins so what I do I will create a new item and you can see in this uh, here I am running through windows on Jenkins on my windows machine you can see on system information yes you can see here window 10 I am running my Jenkins on window 10 so here I just write all the tasks which I am doing on batch file right so let me click on new item because I am creating a new item and will create what we will give the name Jenkins Selenium Job and you can see here are multiples options are available because I installed all the options all the plugin on my this Jenkins right but here we will use free style project because we are going to use this by batch file we will run our code through batch file right so let me click on this and click on ok and you can see Jenkins selenium job project is created by Jenkins and all this information how we can create first Jenkins job I will discuss in my previous video and we will we already discussed all this information or all this option in my previous video if you do not watch please go and watch and I keep all things default but on source management what I am doing here I put none because manually I put my all code under workspace folder right what is a workspace folder Jenkins def uh, by default created a workspace folder and we will keep all the code by workspace folder right in upcoming video I can show how can we integrate git through Jenkins and SPN but in this video I will manually put all code and uh, here I click on none, none but radio button right and I will do not touch any further things in here now I will build how I will build right so as I am running on Jenkins on window machine I will choose this execute windows batch command and here what I do I just write dir to check whether my job is created correctly or not and it will also create a folder so you can see this this folder has been created you under user chirac under dot jenkins workspace and selen jenkins selenium job so what i am doing here i will copy all this code right manually but in organization and in running 
uh, or like project you can say that we do not use this none option for this tutorial I am using this none option for the source management but upcoming video we will see how we can integrate with git and svn but for now I just copy all my code from here and put this code under my user chirag dot jenkins and there is a workspace and this is my selenium job jenkins selenium job right so i will keep all the code here i copy all the code here now what i do i again open my jenkins and here i will write mvn test same command which I have written on my command prompt right so by mvn clean test or test we will run our test script unit test script right so now I click on apply and click on save button and now I will build my job so I build my job and you can see the console over here it is building right now building Jenkins 1.0 snapshot and after that you can see test is started my chrome browser will invoke soon and after that there are some failures comes let me run this again sometimes it put exception well we do not use any git now you can see chrome browser has been invoked and it will launch wordpress.com and now it will click on login link after that it will enter username and password and close the browser so all these things what i am how i am doing i am doing through jenkins right so this way we can integrate our project through Jenkins and we can schedule our job we, you can see how easily we can build our job just click on one button and it is very useful when we are using continuous integration or when manual tester will involve on these things they do not need any technical in knowledge they just wanted to click on this build and you can see the build has been successfully one test and one test is passed right so you can see just click on build now and if i click on workspace you can see all the code which i click on workspace is display over here right if you wanted to see test output you can see a index.html is displayed right and if you have click on this you can see the login one test is run and it is passed successfully right so this is the way how we can integrate our Jenkins through Selenium web drive uh, how we can integrate our Jenkins with Selenium web driver and if you have any question you can mail me or put your comments under comment section and thank you for watching this video hopefully you like this video and in upcoming video we will see how we can integrate our Jenkins with APN and thank you for watching this video bye bye take